All right, I'll start the, this video out with an update on uh, the progress of the Petco or PetSmart uh, females I bought. Uh, the larger one right there is one of the original three females. Uh, the other two are still in the bucket. I, only, I caught some of them just to show what's happening. Now, some of these females have an interesting color. I don't really know what color that is actually. It's got a nice sheen to it, her. And uh, it's kind of like a, like a gold uh, fish. It's, it's pretty unusual. And uh, some of the males have grown out a little poorly, uh, trying to get one of them. There's one. That was the gray one. The tail's not filling out too well, but it's still a pretty cool looking fish. Now I've left these all together. They're, this male is not really a, a good one. It's an interesting color, but a lousy dorsal that you can't see now. But uh, by leaving these in the colony breed, uh, you probably saw one of the uh, males that I'm trying to find right there. It ends up being a uh, snakeskin pattern. And that would be coming out because of the, uh, the half black uh, AOC ones getting together with the uh, females that are half black. And there's obviously some kind of a, a snakeskin uh, gene in the background. Uh, so that's a little bit unusual and uh, some of the females are looking really interesting. This male has a great dorsal but a lousy tail. Uh, it was one of the ones from the original uh, video last time. So what's happening is just seeing that the, uh, uh, that the fins on these aren't the greatest. Uh, it's, it might be something I can work with down the line. Uh, I'll keep these going. I'm just going to keep them in uh, one uh, container. I'm not going to devote a bunch of tanks to this. It's just an interesting experiment to see if I get any decent looking uh, fish out of uh, some uh, three females I pay three dollars a piece for. Uh, some of them are very cool looking so I gotta give it that and uh, it's just like a Kind of like a little diversion to keep from getting too bored with uh, all the other stuff I'm raising. But this male is pretty uh, promising with uh, the snakeskin pattern, but I imagine that he won't get a very long uh, dorsal or tail. Try to get a good uh, view of him. It's interesting. It's kind of cool. So I'll move on to uh, some other fish. Uh, this is the uh, green water tank, and uh, as you can see, it is just about clear. So, uh, uh, the stuff I did worked, and thanks to the people that said to put some plants back in the tank, I did that too, as well as the water changes and the uh, no more algae fizzy tablet things. So, I can actually see the fish. Uh, I can also see that some of them have to be culled out, which I'll get to, but. Uh, can see all the way through to the filter which is on the other side of the tank and uh, well this took about a week maybe eight days to clear up and uh, thankfully it's done these are galaxy guppies nebula steel whatever I have a couple of gold uh, females in there and the rest are uh, just regular males and females so uh, you know, I'll uh, add something else more exciting but I uh, just wanted to give you the update that the green water is right, this is a uh, young tank of uh, uh, the Roebuck uh, Red Deltas uh, they're just over three months old and you can see the males are, uh, are just starting to get uh, their full coloration uh, what will happen next over the next uh, uh, month or so is the uh, dorsal and the tail will grow out uh, the only thing I have to watch out for with uh, with these is that the uh, I don't get too much of a different color in the tail because they can actually get a little bit of a a black coloration uh, in the tail, and I think that has something to do with the original full reds, which came from a guy in Maine, Ed Chiazon, very nice guy that developed the full reds. Uh, I think his website's still up, but it doesn't get updated much. 
But I remember I bought the, his original ones and he had given me a certificate that I was uh, legally allowed to resell them. Uh, but I ended up uh, losing that line uh, d uh, after a few years. But these are uh, the Roebuck Reds and they're obviously related to uh, Ed's uh, full red line. And so far so good. I haven't had to call, I've only called one fish out of here so far, but uh, uh, there's probably more that'll uh, come out. A little bit of dirt on the glass. And uh, that's one of the nice males. Uh, there's only a few males in here actually, I think five. But uh, they're still developing. And there's another one at the top here. So these are doing uh, pretty well. This is just a tank of females I culled. And uh, this is a uh, tank of a bunch of babies that are from June the 4th. That are also uh, the Luke Roebuck Reds. And uh, I'll try to update some of the other uh, fish that are in here. But uh, So these take about three months to start coloring up. And uh, there's quite a few in here. I, I really don't bother counting them when there's more than 10 because that's about as far as I can count. That's what happens when you go to public schools. So, all right, hang in there. And these are the uh, Shubal Full Greens, which uh, still a little bit of uh, a lot of blue in them in my water. Uh, the female definitely looks hit, and I would say she'd be having uh, some babies very soon, probably within the next uh, 10 days, which is just a guess. And uh, so far, so good with these. Uh, the Roebuck Reds that I selected as breeders are doing very well. Uh, I thought I saw one male I was going to have to cull, but I don't know where he's hiding. And these are still the uh, uh, the Shubal uh, Blue Deltas, and they're doing really well. So I got a drop from both females, so they've thinned out a little bit. And... Uh, the males have been doing very well, no problems whatsoever with this line, and uh, looking forward to having some babies I can use for some crosses down the road. And uh, the only other thing that's, I've kind of given up on the half black, uh, sometimes blue, sometimes purple, and went with this uh, superior line of half black blues. So there's three pair in here, really gorgeous fish. Uh, Looking forward to uh, working with these. Uh, I'll probably sell off some of the, the ones that were half black, uh, blue and purple all the time. Uh, these are definitely blue. Without any doubt, the dorsal and the tail matches, which is perfect. And they are stunning looking fish. So uh, that's about it for what's new. I just cobbled everything together, this female We'll most likely uh, drop some fry within the next couple of weeks and uh, they're in a tank that's got uh, some of the thin leaf water sprite and so far uh, these are looking beautiful and uh, I'll give another update on these probably in a couple of weeks all right I will wrap up this video with a little update on those uh, things I was calling the fire tail black Moscow's uh, this is I took some of them out of the tank. Uh, this female has a short dorsal, regular dorsal, and the one that you can see has a very long dorsal that goes all the way back to the beginning of the tail. So, let me see if I can zoom in there. There we go. You can see how long that dorsal is. It's It goes almost to the end of the tail. Very amazing. I That's probably the longest dorsal one I've ever raised at this point and uh, try to get a good look at it so you can see how, how long that dorsal is which eh, I don't know if it means anything I mean it really doesn't do much for anything as far as uh, guppies go but I just think it's kind of cool to get a, a dorsal on a female that's that long so there we go and I can get a little better look at it so it's pretty cool you know uh, there's a couple of younger females in there that the tail hasn't gotten the full shape yet, but you can see they have the long dorsal as well. Uh, same with that one right there. It's a very long dorsal. And that's one of the males. It's got like a black Moscow body. 
and uh, an odd red and black uh, pattern, which I prefer this one. That one's a lot cooler looking. So these are young. They're going to grow and get much bigger. The longer tail, longer dorsal on the males and hopefully the females. So there you can get an idea how long that dorsal is. That's a young female. So it's interesting. Uh, not too nuts about that female there. The uh, These two. The tail shape is a little... Uh, it's not full yet. It's uh, not too nuts about that. So they may end up getting pulled out at some point. And uh, anyhow, that's... Uh, an unusual strain I'm working on and uh, it's definitely something that's kind of cool like I said before with the other fish it's a bit of a diversion of the other stuff that I breed so anyway thanks for hanging in there I appreciate it and any questions uh, put them in the comments